Hey guys, Ari Durso here for another video. Today I'm not going to be doing any Let's Plays of any sort. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I really want to get off my chest. So today, it's, so on the last Friday I wrote this story for a school assignment which was to write a narrative <laughs> and we were allowed to write whatever about whatever you, we wanted so uh, today at school well the teacher talked to me about how she hated the story because she's trying assuming that I'm quote unquote glorifying crime just because I have I write about the kids committing multiple well, crimes that are basically like a, fel a government felony. Now just be and she thinks that just because I put time and effort into a story about school escape escaping school by committing a bunch of crimes she thinks that just because I put effort into my story means that I'm trying to promote crime. But I'm not trying to promote crime with this story at all. It's just, it's just writing about escaping school. It's supposed to be a metaphor reflecting on how the average fifth to sixth grader would would think about school. The teacher thinks that I, that the teacher now the teacher also thinks that this is. A reflection of my thoughts even though this is not a reflection of my thoughts it's it's just a simple story that I wrote wrote just for fun I never really really write stories to reflect on my thoughts at all unless I make myself the main character or I put myself in the story in fact, I was so mad that when the teacher told me to rewrite the story and make it a not good story, well, that's how I interpret it. But she told me to write something more bright, more happy. So, I'll read to you my response narrative to this so it says one day a fifth grader named lucas had a dream now lucas is supposed to be one of the main three kids there you can see the other his two other friends are ken and owen all right okay so yeah one day a fifth grader had a dream where he and his two other friends escaped school and committed all sorts of crimes which i was totally aware of when writing the good version of my story that i'm not letting anyone make me ruin but he sadly woke up and realized his page was all just a big dream that no one will remember unless I write a good story pin painting all the a, a lot of details of this is fantasy. So I tried capturing the memory only to have it ruined by my teacher who let others get away with writing about robbing banks, escaping prison, getting crushed violently, and getting shot in the head. Like what the hell? Either those stories get banned or mine gets unbanned, okay? And also, just because I wrote a good and realistic story doesn't mean I'm trying to support crime. So please stop assuming that I'm trying to commit crime. Promote crime. Now that's kind of just a metaphor of... Of the unfairness of the teacher banning my story but letting others write about... But way worse things like robbing a bank, getting shot in the head, and getting crushed violently by a machine. Like, like yeah, either those stories get banned, or mine gets banned as well, or that, or mine gets unbanned. Because at this point, if there is a fine line between writing a good store, good realistic story story and trying to promote crime and I am not trying to cross that line and I'm not crossing that line even my friends agree that I'm not crossing that line 
and that the teacher is kind of being a jerk. So, yep, that's an update. Alright, bye guys.